I will shout, I will talk, I will keep my list. All of them were not working. I will refuse him sex. All oh, were not working. Instead, I'll end up being unhappy. Meanwhile, now it's be for your good or even be for your good past. What just? Yeah. So let's get to it. Hello, lovelies. Welcome back to today's video. Welcome back to the channel. In this space, we live, we share, and inspire. Yeah, welcome, guys. Yes. So, if you're seeing us for the first time, my name is Prudence Apinoko, and this is my husband, Mr. K. Apinoko, aka Papa Ajo. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we know him as in the channel. Or you call him Barista. That's what everybody calls him. Mm -hmm. I talk too much, okay? Yeah, so, let's, let's get down to business. Yeah, today is a continuation of. Uh, our q and a that we were filming before uh, part two part two yes we, we posted a one before i'm going to leave it in the description box guys do well to check it out please if you're coming here for the first time welcome we love you already please hit the subscribe button subscribe guys please, please. guys please subscribe it's okay. free. free of charge yes so um a lot of you are sent in questions in the first video we had answered and um, this is the continuation. We have not answered some, um, question. some questions, so yeah. we're going to go and just dive in to the video. Yeah. So, what was the first question? Please, have people talked about my beauty already? You guys should drop about my beauty in the comment section. Okay. Okay. So, um, we stopped with. Um, Ada on your chat um, question, and I trust that we answered her. So, um, Avi Culinary says, You look good, Mama. Mm, thank you, thank you so much. Um, Grace Briggs says, Happy wife, happy life. You know, this yeah. flesh and blood did not reveal it <laughs> to you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, Janie, um, mu oneke. I beg, Mona no. Mona no verso, I did mother people name. How do you? This is such an interesting question. Yes. This is the highlight of the whole video today. That's what I'm going to even use as our thumbnail. This this is such an amazing. Thank you for this question. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so she says, how do you reignite love in a reignite love in a loveless yes. marriage? I mean, when a couple slowly drifts apart due to marital issues. Is it possible to reignite that old flame? That's one question. She's, secondly, do you think things can actually go back to the same way it was before? Yes, it okay. won't better. <laughs> you just took it out of my mouth. So, <laughs> so in today's video that I filmed, I, I, I've not even seen this question before. Yeah. In the video that I filmed, I think that video is going to come up before this Q&A. In that video, we just talked about the issues that we went through. So we had gone through infidelity in our marriage and yeah. how we got past it and see the both of us. It doesn't look like we have been through that, guys. It don't look like we're, what we've been through. Yes. So yeah. so it's possible. So let's answer, let's answer accordingly before we go to talk fast mm. again. So the confession one they say, how do you reignite love in a loveless marriage? So maybe answer. Uh the, the the first uh, the first thing you do is uh, to uh, attack the issue. What's uh, we we answer something related to this to to attack it from the root. The, what caused the drifting apart? Talk about it. Heal from it. Forgive if need be. If it's if you are offended, let go of the offense, and uh, love will come as it will come naturally, and uh, through prayer too. Pray for, for the love of God to be made manifest in your life. You know, once you attain that nature of God, you, you become love itself. It is in your nature, in you, to give love, to always love without expecting to get back. Yeah. Uh, I feel like marriage is all about giving and giving and giving and giving and giving. Immediately, I got to this place. That was when my marriage became better. Before, I used to feel like, oh, I'm the only person doing all the work in the marriage. I used to feel like I'm the only one trying to make this marriage work. Oh, I'm giving too much. I'm sacrificing too much. Oh, I'm doing this too much. But the moment I realized that the capacity that I can give is not the same capacity that my husband can give. We are two different people two imperfect people me myself i'm a work in progress he's a work in progress so the minute i see more than i should like if i give credit to 
the problem more than what I have already. I cannot, I cannot get to that place that I want to, to be, which is a place called happy. And saying um, a, a, you are in a loveless marriage, how to reignite? How do you even get to that place in the first place? You lose your joy. You lose your joy. That's when it's when you are not joyful that you, you you get to that place. It's when you are holding offense that you get to that place. It's when you are seeing problems. You know, a lot of us. Most times we don't see the things that we have, we're always seeing the things that we do not have. Yeah. So when you are magnifying the things that you, you do not have, that's when you get a loveless marriage. That's when you get to a point of saying um, a loveless marriage. So guys, my own answer to this question, which is also what my husband has said, is intentionally, intentionally knowing that you see this marriage, it will work. I will choose joy. I will choose to be happy in where I am right now. I will choose so, to love. Yes, regardless of what is good. It's not easy. I'm regardless not saying, of what I'm getting in return. Yes, I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying that it's a, 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 a walk in the, in the park. It's not. It's, it's being intentional is you um, giving. How do I put it now? You sacrificing. Giving your all. Give, yes, that, that's the word exactly. Giving your all. So, in being in that point, just put it in your heart that you see this as an enter marriage, so now give as they go give. You are bringing in your supply. Yeah. Like being intentional, being intentional, yeah. knowing that you can start all over again every day. Every day is a new it's day. A, yeah, in marriage, a, in, in marriage, every day is a new day. You see mm. yesterday, forget yesterday, today. Make we, it better. Well, as in the goal is like last night. I just before I slept, it was just something I was pondering on. How how will I make my husband happy today? I told myself, I said, Corey, I'm not quarrel with him. I would think of only the good things he has done. Like this morning before I woke up, which was so so full of him, he had made breakfast. Breakfast that everybody will eat, like we had prepared beans yesterday. So this morning he fried the beans. Um it just it just it's not a lot of things like people will see, but it meant everything to me this morning. It just uplifted my spirit. I started cleaning. I just started doing stuff, you know. So it's he himself. He's bringing his hundred. I'm bringing my hundred. We're not saying, oh, bring your fifty. Let me bring my fifty. Let me. No, no. Everybody bring your own. You they bring your own. I they bring my own. Let's don't wait on the other. Like my my pastor taught me something that your good behavior is not dependent on somebody else's good behavior you are you have good behavior because that is your nature because that is what you are that is what you can give you understand so if you're i'm talking too much but i hope that you i already answered your question so um it's possible to reignite old flame it's very possible very it's very possible. easy yeah. just remember the why that you guys started mm. why why am i married to this person in the first place how did i get here in the first place how did we, you know, just remember the why, think of good old times. Yeah. And even if the good old times are no longer there, build new memories. Yeah. Like I and my husband now, I'm sure you guys saw that video already, I'll leave it in the description box. We went on a date. That was such a very refreshing thing for us to do. Yeah. And I feel like as couples, a lot of times we get carried away. We they do things, we go forget, say, ah, the first place before all these responsibilities of life, we felt be lovers. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. So it's just you remembering that place, you mm -hmm. know. Uh -huh. And, and uh, let, let me just add uh, you see this love of it and giving love. There's a way you will love someone, even when the love is not coming back. In, you are not what you are expecting, it's not, it's, reciprocated. It's not re being reciprocated. There's a way you will keep at it. The person will automatically know that. Oh, Okay, I have to do. I have to do this. I have to give my best because I'm seeing the best from this other side. Let me put in my best. That's how that's how it's done. Yeah, it's a type of secret now. Secret as well. No, but no, but, but really, really. So if I want to say that, I made you give me hundred as well. You know, that's the way you look. But let's say we wear match match you. You wear blue. I wear blue. Mm, that's cool. Huh? Wow. The spirit. Oh, wow, this love. Okay, this love next question. It's shock. <laughs> um, my Mofi for Lua. I've been nervous. Nervous, sorry. 
Muffy, Muffy for Omo Warare. Omo Warare. I don't know. You look so beautiful. Thank, Thank you, baby. Thank you very much. Uh, so Omotaya T says, uh, okay, back to the matter. What is your advice to people in a marriage where one is so headstrong and doesn't take advice given by the other party? Okay. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> why are you looking at me? <laughs> Not to the, the, the truth is, uh, when uh, Not to. when you, you are giving someone advice and the person is strong, uh, uh, someone willing to take the advice, there are ways you you go about it. Like I used to tell my wife that, uh, you know the man, the ego of a man, uh, she's looking at me because we've been there. Uh, there, there are ways you. I'm mean, not commending you, for the you, matter. No, there, there are ways you give I'm advice, not okay. and uh, you give it uh, as a suggestion, suggestive. And you have to be polite about it. You have to look for the best time where the person is in a very happy mood. Then you, you chip it in as an advice, a suggestion, mm -hmm. and uh, it will sink in. Even if uh, immediately uh, it still strong, if you do it respectfully and with love. I believe it was simple. Okay, so this is from a man's perspective. Let me answer your mother, you're my girl. So I tell you something that has worked for me is you see this my two knees. Eh? This my two knees. It is magic for me. Not necessarily not necessarily that I I, I kneel down and, and pray all the time about something. But I'm telling you that you see that hey, you see this thing, this thing called speaking in tongues, this thing called praying in the Holy Ghost, it has helped me so many ways, guys. So, um, let me let me let me say from my experience. So, I remember that at the time I was trying to get my husband to do something that's for us, he wasn't bulging, he wasn't, I will quarrel, I will shout, I will talk, I will keep my list. All of them were not working. I will refuse him sex. All were not working. Instead, I'll end up being unhappy. Meanwhile, now it will be for your own good, or even be for your own good past me. So I think that ever since now that I've received the life of Christ, ever since I'm now in this place that I'm at, I, I, I've changed my approach to a lot of things. The way I speak to him has changed. Glory to God. The way I speak to him has changed. The way, the way I ask for things have changed. Approach is very important and prayer. <laughs> See this thing called marriage. If you succeed this side, you have to be a praying woman. Mm. Because the Bible says that the heart of kings are in the hands of God and he stirs it wherever he will it. Take that word back to Baba God and see what he will do. That's what he be strong heads when they did the get. See, Baba Ed's head is so soft right now. Sometimes I feel like I have this mumu butter. I have him under my armpits. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> I'm just joking. But I'm telling you that you will get to such a good place. You get to such a good place that things will be so effortless. It's just mm -hmm. knowing, just find how to navigate. See, when, if man, if man, eh, well, let me tell you a secret, guys. When a man sees that, oh, this my wife is, is now submissive, because now journey to, to become submissive. You don't say where we don't they come, we don't finally reach her, or we don't near her. We are far from where we were before. So by the time you gradually become that person that you know you are not loyal, you are not submissive, you speak to him, automatically you will be, you know, as our shop used to be like petty metalites, you be like that. When you tell him something, now yes, sir, yes, sir, you go there. Yeah. That's a secret, guys. I hope I've told you something. Please, tell me dollars. I don't give you idea. <laughs> okay, so um, I hope I've answered your question. So, um, fighting does not solve anything, no. Fighting not the solve. Mali is not the solve. Uh -huh, come here, so, so my baby vlog says, beautiful mama, thank you. Mwah. You know this. Helps if your friend says, hi baby. Uh, Say so you look beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, Joanna Amo. Wow, you look sweet. Thank you so much. Um, Udrak Obong Adabong, my girl. I know you as Eloho. To pronounce it, your acquired bomb name is always hard. Fine, girl. Thank you. Um, then this is the remaining many, many, many questions yes, from Joyce Rio. She said, What is your favorite food? 
Mm. Papa Andre, what is my favorite food? Your favorite food? Mm. It's uh, anything yeah, rice. Tinker. Anything rice. You love rice. Anything rice. It's good. Then for me, what's my favorite food? Your favorite food. Like, what, your favorite food is what? My favorite food is. Uh, no, you. Are you asked me? I'm asking you. What's my favorite food? Your favorite food is eba now. Eba. Anything swallow. Banga soup. Mm. Banga soup. Banga soup. Swallow. Mm. Banga soup. Eba. Stash. I go to soup. Eba. Happy. My favorite food. That me they know. I <laughs> don't say you're not an Englishman. No, I'm not an Englishman. Uh -huh. I swallow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to soup with fufu. Uh -huh. mm, those are the things uh -huh. I have. Okay. What are your plans in the future? <laughs> okay. My plans are... Mm, tell us about your plans. My plans, I just, for me, basic, like my basic plan is just to live a life that is glorifying God. And inside this glorifying God, so, eh? I want to first be, I want to be a teacher. A teacher that I'm teaching God's word to girls, so not to guys, because I don't know as I want to teach me. Now women, like young girls, I want to teach young girls. I'll teach them the things that I didn't know at the time when I was in my 20s, you know, as a growing up young girl. I want to have money. Then I want to go back to school. Going back to school, I don't know whether my master's I want to or I want to start first degree all over again. But I know I want to have a certificate in the health sector. Then one part of my life, I want, I want, I want to travel the world. And that I want, to, I know that I've started to love children so much. I want to have more children. I have always wanted to have just two kids, but I think now I'm just. I want to increase it to like four. Okay. In case of a case of it, maybe when I get some more, I want that. Yeah. So. So, so my my, my plans are many. I cannot share them all. So my my future plan is to uh, pursue my LLM. How do they know what is LLM? Uh, my masters in task laws. I love task taxation, anything calculation and task legal. I love it. Then uh, I want to have a, a corporate law firm, a big corporate law firm. Task strictly task, nothing more. Then travel the world with my wife, take her to all the places, all the best places on this set. Thank you, baby. Okay, um, how did you both meet each other? I think we answered that before in the first Q&A. We don't answer, what's your favorite color? Oh, okay. What's my favorite color? No, answer your own, answer my own. Yes, yeah. He said he wanted his grace or self for camera. <laughs> you know my favorite color, now you just it to well, My favorite color is purple. I love purple because I'm royalty, you know, and purple is royalty. So what's there not to love? I love purple. I love pink, I love white. But my favorite of them all has to be purple. Okay, yeah. my favorite color is white. Yeah. How we met each other, we, we were introduced, yeah. our marriage was an arranged one introduced yes we have a video about it in the channel who cook most who cook best uh, well i've answered that before in the first one mm -hmm. yeah i'm sure you watched it already what's your favorite drink mine has to be <laughs> uh let's say cook i love cook then if i have to take small alcohol i love irish creams like baileys and stuff but then a girl is very soft-headed and we are so bad. Yeah. So I love uh, Coke, I love uh, red wine. And Campari. Campari, yes. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. That's the only what thing. are the things you do that makes you happy and things that make you unhappy? Uh, the things that make me happy, doing makeup, cooking, cleaning my house. Um, and then I love to talk, I love to do YouTube videos, they make me happy. I love to share my experiences, they make me happy. 
I love caring for my family, it makes me happy. I love to sing, I'm a worshipper, makes me happy. Listening to songs makes me happy. Um, what else, what else? So that's the things that make me unhappy. Huh. Mm -hmm. There are not many. When my husband make me vest, then it is when they make me unhappy for my life. Every other thing is mm -hmm. really fun. Okay, things that make me happy, uh, cooking, I love cooking. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Then um, preferring solutions to people's problems. I, uh, I like, I, I enjoy it when I when I come in and I am able to resolve matters, you know, legally. So you're, and legally. you're an arbitrator. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm a lawyer, I'm an arbitrator, I'm an attorney, I'm a solicitor, whatever you want to call it. But I, I just love preferring solutions. I just, I just love preferring solutions to legal issues. And it gives me joy when I walk into a police station and I get someone out. Yeah. Amazing, but that's so cool. I think being a lawyer is so cool. Mm -hmm. Let's say money not to pay their letters. Money they, they come. Say money they come in. I know everybody will say people are always talking about money. What is there not to talk about money? God's way we should prosper. Yes, yes. We're going to relax. Money is good. Um, What makes you unhappy? Uh, not really because I'm someone that I have a very thick skin so for you to get me to that unhappy place I will, I, will, I might be down but not unhappy I don't, I don't take that Okay, what kind of wishes do you have for your subscribers? These are my questions, God bless your family, Amen You know the wishes I have for my subscribers which is something I pray always I pray, it's my prayer that everyone who is joined to me Yeah that God will bless them and they will be able to trace it back to us, you know, because I'm joined to the Apino because my life is a blessing. And my, um, another wish that I have is that you guys, you people have rest in everything that you do, you know, so that's it. It's not, it's not deep, but it's very deep. Having rest in this life, you don't know it's a view. Yes. So my wish is, is that I wish above all things that you prosper. Amazing. That you prosper PK. and that. Uh, PK. Oh, let me talk. I'm in the spirit. That you prosper and that uh, Amen. we 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 do better than uh, our parents did yes. in raising of our children, Amen. in marriages, Amen. as fathers, as mothers, Amen. as wives, as husbands. Amen. So I, I wish that those that are joined to us will build a stronger homes where. Uh, who we'll, we'll raise children that are God fearing? Who we'll, 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 we'll look past the the things that people look onto? Who we'll look onto God who is the, the author and finisher of our faith? Amen. And that uh, uh, just let's build a stronger family because with stronger family we can be able, we'll be able to face our country, yes. face whatever we want to face yeah. in, in this nation. Yes. So that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. Yeah, Pastor, thank you for, Pastor has thank you concluded for the video. <laughs> Pastor has prayed on us. He has concluded the video. I hope you guys enjoy watching, guys. Mm, I always love watching. to read your comments. Please drop comments. Please send us a hug. Send us prayers. Please subscribe. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. For more amazing content. Yes. I will see you guys in our next one. Love and light always. Prudence and Pinnacle. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Mwah.